also set the sync to LFO. So then the LFO, uh, the square wave of the LFO dictates when the waveform restarts in oscillator 2. <laughs> And because there's, uh, you can set the LFO rate to a variety of settings. Again, this is a function that has um, a lot of interesting functionality. If uh, used in conjunction with a number of other things going on, um, you also have the ability to have whatever's coming in your external input one uh, cause oscillator two's waveform to reset. So you have a very wide variety of sync controls for the synthesizer. Also, oscillator two has the same pulse width modulation effects that we can get in oscillator one. What we have here is an instance where you have two different oscillators that both have pulse width modulation, which makes for some really cool stuff. You get a really, really broad sound. Also, you can kick in the sync with the pulse width modulation happening and it causes it to then uh, do some really weird waveform stuff. Bring, let's bring in the modulation. Let's hear that with the envelope. Wow, it's like vocal. Can it sounds like somebody saying blah blah blah? But you can hear, I mean, oh my gosh, it's already crazy and angry sounding. It's fantastic. <laughs> Listen to how big that is. It's just a monster. So you can already see, I mean, I'm barely scraping the surface of the different combinations you can come up with uh, just in the oscillator section alone with some minor help from modulation. But later when we get into modulation, you can see how this just takes this thing to a completely different level. I do want to talk about the sequencer just for a second. Although I know you wish I would talk about it for more than a second. And I promise a point will come when I do. But for now, let's just talk about one aspect of the sequencer. If you look, uh, the sequencer is set to step one. Step one is actually on right now. So when you're tuning the synthesizer, you have to take into account step one's uh, voltage setting, uh, these destination settings, wherever they are, and as well as the pitches up here. Because if you have destination setting to oscillator one all the way up, 
Um, this is controlling its pitch. If you have both of them up, it's controlling the pitch of both oscillators. Sounds like to a slightly different degree, which is cool. But what this allows us to do, you might say, oh, well, why is the sequencer on? What this allows us to do is to choose a voltage in step one and then decide using these destination knobs to what degree that voltage affects the two different oscillators. So right there we have octaves. Um, we could also do like a proggy fifth. So you have the ability to uh, define a lot of different pitches by using these destination knobs to set the frequencies of your oscillators. Now you'll notice the sequencer's not running. We don't need it to. So that's a really cool function. And if you wanted, you could do something really crazy, like set all of the different voltages in the sequencer to different voltages. And that will mean that each of these controls the oscillators to a different degree based on the voltage here and the voltage amounts over here. And we can actually hold one note and step through the sequence and you'll hear the differences. <laughs> So yeah, that's really fun for the sequencer, but it also means that you could make several different choices in these in this voltage section that in live performance you could switch from one sound to another. Like this. Okay, that's a terrible example, but you can see like you can create different pitch relationships between the oscillators using the voltages in the sequencer for just performance and not for the running of the sequencer because the sequencer's voltage is on uh, going directed to the oscillators at any given time. It's also going to the filter. Uh, we could direct it to the filter too, but that's we'll talk about that when we talk about the filter. This synthesizer often has its own ideas about what it wants to do, and it creates these kind of crazy sounds that you're like, wow, where is that coming from? Sometimes just changing the pitch of an oscillator will give you a whole new, almost ring mod effect. It's fantastic. It's just so broad and so in your face. I love it.